Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this look for you guys, which is a glittery brown smoky eye. I'm so excited to be showing you guys how I got this look. And I did it using this Pure Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette. I got this in a boxy charm a while ago. I want to say like a month or two ago. And I told you guys I would do a tutorial on it. So here's the look I came up with. I hope you guys love it because I'm like obsessed with how my eyeshadow turned out. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the eyes first. I already went ahead and primed using my Essence I Love Stage eyeshadow base. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Pure Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. I received this in a recent boxy charm. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Gala right here with a Morphe M505 fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and start building that into the crease. And that shade Gala just gave us a light wash of color into the crease. And now we're going to want to deepen it up a little bit. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Splurge. And I'm using a Luxie 229 tapered blending brush to apply this color. And I'm going to slowly start in the outer portion of the eye. And then work my way into the inner portion of the crease. We're focusing this color in the crease and this is my first time using this eyeshadow palette and so far I am liking it. It does have a bit of kickback when you press your brush into the shadow but it's not as bad to like complain about it. To me the kick up seems rather normal. And then just going back in with the Morphe M505 blending brush and just blending everything out. And now I'm going to be going in with the shade Stunner. I want to add a slight bit of warmth in the outer portion of the eye. And it's okay if you get some of that shadow onto the lid. And I'm going in with a Royal and Lane Nickel Moda BMX 430 crease brush. And I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Epic. And I'm using a Wet n Wild kind of like flat brush slash fluffy brush and I'm just tapping that on the outer portion and then kind of blending that in and now I'm going to go ahead and mix the shades Cosmo and Glitzy I'm going to go ahead and apply Cosmo first with my finger which looks exactly like the shade Epic just with like sparkle and now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the shade Glitzy And to add a little bit more sparkle, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And all I'm going to go ahead and do is just kind of place it in the center of my eye. And with my finger, just go ahead and kind of tap it out. It just adds a fun sparkle to the look and makes the shadow look like so much more intense. And quickly off camera, I went ahead and did my liner for like the top portion of my liner. I used my Ellie Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner and for the wing, I used my NYC Eyeliner. And now for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in the shade 205. So for this month, I went back to using this foundation and I really like it. It lasts a long time and I mean, I could wear this for like over 12 hours and it looked great. The only problem I have with it is... It almost kind of looks like orangey on the skin, so I don't know if that's just the shade or if it's just that it has an orange undertone. And the other problem that I ended up finding out this week is that this foundation is why I'm breaking out so much. I started thinking about it and I was like, my skin does not normally act like this and the only new product that I've gone back to like I've used this foundation before but not as consistently as I have been recently and yeah I think that's like the reason why I'm breaking out so much so I'm using it in this video so you guys see how much coverage it gives but it's like I feel like it's breaking out my skin 
And for concealer, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Natural. And I'm going to go ahead and set it with my IBY Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm going to mix the shade Highlight 2 and Highlight 3. And I'm quickly going to set my face with my Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. And I'm going to use very little of this powder to set my face because I do feel like the CoverGirl foundation does dry down to a matte. And since I have very dry skin, I don't want like my dryness to be emphasized by the powder. So I'm going to be applying it very lightly. So I quickly went ahead and filled in my brows using this little brow kit by Aesthetica. And... My eyebrows look really good. I just think I went a little overboard with the powder and they're looking pretty dark and like kind of very defined more than I usually do. But I'm not too mad at them because I don't normally dress up my brows this much. So let me know what you guys think. I prefer natural brow but I mean... This is more of like a bold brow for me. And now we're going to go ahead and go back to the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and work on the lower lash line. And I'm first going to take the shade Splurge. And I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. And next we're going to take the shade Stunner. And do the exact same. Just go ahead and blend it out. And now moving back to the face, I'm going to use my IBY Beauty Highlight and Contour Kit. And I'm going to use Contour 2 just to kind of sculpt the face a little bit. I like this little palette because the powders are actually very smooth and creamy. They're easy to work with. And I love that for like a highlighting and contour palette. If both powders work really well, I will use it often. And I completely forgot that I had this palette, honestly. Like today, I felt like using a bunch of products that I either hadn't used or just hadn't touched in a while. And this one was one of them. And then when I thought, like, why hadn't I used it? And it was just because it was sitting in my drawer, like, in the very back of my drawer. And I remembered, like, how much I love it. These powders are actually very smooth. But the only problem with this palette is I believe it, like, sells for around the same price as Anastasia. So it is kind of pricey. And for blush, I'm going to go ahead and use this Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in the shade Hot Spice. And I'm going to be mixing these two colors. They don't have a name. They're just like the most basic blushes, I guess you could say. Like they're very muted down and kind of like mauve-y. So I'm going to go ahead and mix those together. And they both make such a pretty color. Nothing too intense. And now for highlight, I'm going to use this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati. This is a very intense highlighter. And I'm just going to take a little bit of what's on the cap. It's a beautiful glow and it is more on like the golden shade. And a little bit of this highlighter does go an extremely, extremely long way. And I'm also going to use that same highlighter for the brow bone and also for the inner corner highlight. And now for the lips, I'm going to go ahead and line them with this Jante Blue lip liner in the shade 943 Brown Sugar. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Witchy. So this is the final look. I went ahead and applied this lip gloss over top of the Smashbox lipstick. This is the NYX Glam Lip Gloss and it's in the shade The Beat Goes On. And I really love how this look turned out. Not only is it perfect for like an everyday wear, but with the glitter, I feel like it's super appropriate for the holidays. Like now that, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming up, I feel like you can just take a regular palette and apply like glitter over top and I feel like it would really amp up the look kind of how we did today and I really like how this look turned 
out. I hope you guys did as well. As far as the palette goes, I think it's a great eyeshadow palette. It blended out easily. It has all the great characteristics that a palette should. Very pigmented, creamy, smooth, buttery. I mean, it was really good to use it wasn't chalky i mean it does have kick up when you put your brush in but i mean what palette doesn't i'm pretty sure almost every palette does at least in my collection have a little bit of kick up nothing to be like concerned about though so i really like this if you haven't gotten your hands on it i think it's a great palette you have eight mattes and four shimmers on the top so they are very pigmented shadows and Hold on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and look who decided to join us. Say hi. You haven't been on camera in a while, huh? Do you guys remember when oh, I first started YouTube in January? So in February we got him and around like March he'd pop up in my videos and he was so tiny. And now he's huge. Like, let me show you guys. Look at how big he is. And he's not even a year old yet. Like, our poor little Benji is growing up so fast. He won't even come here very often, which is so sad. Like, before, I used to film, and he would always, always be with me. And now, like, he has his own life, and, like, he roams around and doesn't even care to join me in videos anymore. And I haven't even mentioned this to you guys. I know I'm rambling about my cat, like... I'm sorry, but we adopted a new baby. We actually like rescued her, but should we have a new baby? And her name is Blue. We've had her since I believe the beginning of October. Um, I haven't introduced her yet because she loves being downstairs and I'm upstairs right now. So I'll insert a picture here so you guys can meet her. Maybe in my next video, I'll bring her in. But she's the sweetest thing ever and Benji loves her and we, we just love her so much, so enough rambling about my life and my cat's lives back to this look um i really hope you guys enjoyed it and all the products i use i really love and like recommend to you guys and yeah so if you have any products that you guys suggest or any video ideas leave them down below don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye